this isn't how you behave as a captain. OK, please keep your comments to yourself or I may have to deal with it by way of penalty. Player, listen to me, please. I'm not, sorry, sorry, I'm not Just listen. To listen to me. If you talk to me like that and I think it's to me, I will have to deal with it. Do you understand? Fine, yeah. OK, scrum. And from distance. Not the accuracy. Richard Cockrell's lead at half time Captain. looking more and more as if Captain. it will be eight points. OK. Much less than that if. Benford no, it's got to restart. The game must restart. You can't kick it straight out. Another second or so. As it yeah, was. It will that be, but the 22 will take place. Bowden try that was disallowed. You can't kick it out, Maintains yes. time. Leicester's lead at the break. And it looks as if um, Myler's going to take the ball back you to the dressing room just totally with out. him. Kick it straight out. Option. I just told you you couldn't well, kick this, it Well, this half is still out. going you on. Kick it directly out. Option, scrum. Oh, we've got... There are young kids from Aviva who are okay. going to give us a half-time dancing me. demonstration who are, who are about to come onto the pitch. There are some people on the pitch, they think out. it's all over. He's just kicked it directly out, so the scrum must take Not place. quite as good as last time. That is a clear responsibility. <laughs> oh, and oh, there's a bloke with a walkie-talkie. Oh, it's his worst nightmare. Yes. He's got a split group now. He's got oh. all sorts of problems. Well, there's a big hole in that defence. Come by, come by. <laughs> Crouch! <laughs> oh, oh, we'll see you in a little while. Set. Fear not. Meantime, there's a game still going on. Myler. That's a penalty as well. Oh, goodness me. to Dylan Hartley, hadn't he, about how he spoke to the referee. Oh, what a nightmare end. Well, it's just utter confusion as soon as Stephen Myler took that ball. If it had kicked it directly into touch, would have been back in the dressing room now. Well, he had to, kick, had to hit the floor first. He said, you, he said you cannot kick the ball directly into touch. And I've just watched the scrum back, and there's no physical contact from Dylan Hartley in anything, so I can only presume it's talking to the referee. My, my, my. Have you ever seen anything quite like that? Jim Mallinder and Dylan Hartley off. That's Hartley's final. Whether we'll see him come back and lift the trophy now is a big, big doubt. It is, and there's a lot of people jeering in the crowd, but if Dylan Hartley has sworn at the referee, then that is exactly the right decision. This is rugby, it's not football. You do not speak to the officials like that. Tom Youngs was on the floor. Your, your family had arrived. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Tom Youngs is on the floor. And then he looks up at the referee there. His eyes go to the referee, and what, who's he looking? He's not looking at the guy on the floor there. So, you know, I th I think has he not been okay. spoken to? It's, it's the word cheat, not the swear word. Had he not been spoken to, it's different. But you're treading a tight, uh, a, a tight rope if you, uh, if you then come Biting your lip in that situation is something, as a professional sportsman, I suppose you just have to do, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I feel sorry for Dylan. He'll be disappointed himself. It's, it's what he's trained for all season. He's captained his team to go out there and play in their first ever Premiership Finals.